see a little bit of beans here. Plenty of power from this two liter engine, as you can see. Really, really nice power. Very smooth. Good afternoon everybody, welcome back to Peter's Auto Box. We have a 2020 Lincoln Corsair Reserve. Now, even though this is an older model, guys, I wanted to kind of bring you this model because one of, first of all, I've never driven a Corsair. Kind of intrigued to see how it feels because obviously I own a 2016 uh, Ford Escape within the family. The same engine, same at the chassis. I want to see how much really different refinement, you know, the uh, the Lincoln you know, engineers put into these models. And also, guys, this is just a very unique interior, uh, really cool interior. This is what they called a beyond blue interior, uh, which is really cool interior. We'll take a look. It's kind of got a turquoise color that's combined. Really, really cool what I've seen in a Lincoln. Now, of course, guys, this is being a reserve model. There's only really two uh, models of reserve, of I would say Corsair. There's a regular Corsair and the reserve. Now, reserve, this is not the fully loaded reserve, but this is really cool looking. This is uh, this one here that we have with us. It's called Infinite Black. And, of course, with that really cool turquoise in, uh, in leather interior. Corsair. Now, of course, guys, this was introduced at the same time as the Ford Escape was, because obviously in 2020, the Ford Escape was redesigned. That was, that's a third generation Escape. This is basically kind of what I was saying, the same generation as that Ford Escape. This is as this is engineered on. This is basically the same chassis guys it's the same front wheel drive or all wheel drive with the same motor except of course this is available with a 2.2 liter inline four now let's take a look at the design of this Corsair guys really love the way the styling is I mean Lincoln has really kind of all the same look the kind of all the Lincoln's look the same but obviously this is a much smaller version this is the the smallest SUV that they have based of course on the escape really love the styling guys take a look at around here this has got the 20 inch wheels wrapped around 245 millimeter continental cross contact tires I really love those wheels this color here that we have with us is called infinite black as I mentioned before and of course you can see guys here we have the Corsair name here as well this is kind of the same signal type of um design they have for the name of the Lincoln the mirrors look fantastic really love a bit of a chrome trim around the window so you can see guys really love this wheel so it's a little also a bit of aluminum trim here on the bottom of the doors really really cool very sharp looking SUV that I really like over here coming here to the back guys this is where I really like the most obviously this one's uh, this is one that has the panoramic sunroof as well you can see it's all black with the antenna very similar to the basically my Ford Escape in the back obviously this is where things change here really cool tail lights as you can see the design of this is really kind of Porsche Macan look like with the all the lights coming across all this lights up at night really really cool what it is so we got doubled up we have two two uh exhaust tips on each side here a bit of aluminum here on the bottom really really nice what lincoln has done to this design obviously it's kind of looks more like a little bit thicker on the side really sitting down button down type of design i really i really like the styling of this corsair i think the engineers and uh, the engine of all the lincoln engineers did a really good design uh with uh, with the way this this turned up this actually turned up obviously it's quite different than the uh, ford escape which is based on and i really love the way those wheels are the, the design the rear lights the mirror design everything just really really looks sharp now coming here to the front we're going to take a look at the lighting lighting is very very nice obviously this has got updated led lighting i don't know if you guys can tell these are all the turn signals and the daytime lighting that are all in leds no, there's no fog that's on this top on this uh lincoln corsair at all but you can see we guys we got a bit of aluminum kind of bottom trip so this guy's a little bit dirty it's a black car this thing attracts all kinds of dust and and particles but i love the lincoln design the aluminum trim here on the lincoln uh, all the grill is really really cool in the way that is really love the lighting the design is really cool i mean it's got a really nice sport look to it uh very europeanish kind of look at if I might say so myself, uh, some people might say no, but obviously it's a really cool design. What this Lincoln Corsair, the way it looks, so it's really really cool, especially with this wheels, the 20 inch wheels. It's probably one of the best uh, looking SUVs, especially in this size that they have. Obviously very competitive in this market. Actually, have you know all types of things from BMW, Lexus, you know everything. There's a lot of competition to this Corsair, but it's you know it's part of the value for this SUV, and especially in this way it, it is and the way it's. Let's take a quick really look at this wheels. Here we have this 20 inch wheels. These are really nice. These are a 245 millimeter 
tires in thickness obviously we got continental cross county tires all around lx tires really cool like a sport all, all season tire love these two-tone wheels they really look sharp really nice the way they are and the 20 inches a perfect size for this SUV. as you can see guys here we have the corsair name here with a bit of chrome really cool and the mirrors also have the turn signals here as well integrated into them really really cool design the yeah, way that get, is let's so. get here to the back guys you can see guys as i show you the key here we got open close we got remote start and of course the double click to open the hatch here in the back as you can see guys really cool i love these lights we got some led lighting for the rear of that and also a rear rear camera so here we have the interior of this lincoln course i'm actually very very just the same thing as a ford escape obviously you got here a 12 volt connection here as you can see guys we got a software here for the 14 speaker rebel system that this has we have buttons here for the rear seats that go down of course we got a little more storage here on the sides here as you can see got hooks and if we raise this up got same thing as my ford escape here we got some more cubicle the same thing that has not changed at all the same thing it's got a full size spare tire here in the back which is really nice a little bit of aluminum here to kind of put your things there doesn't scrape kind of kind of scuff place so. there all right guys really, there we really go let's go ahead and uh, i don't think this doesn't have the foot into anything i don't think that has it you gotta press the button and uh there we go guys there it goes and closing this really nice. All right, let's go ahead and take Lincoln. a quick look at what's powering this Lincoln Corsair. So let's go ahead and pull this a couple of times there and check out what's under the hood. Coming up here, this is already just ready to pop up. Oh, thank you, Lincoln. This has got basically hydraulic shocks to help you raise the hood. And they should put it even in the escapes. I think it'll be a good option to have, but thank you, Lincoln, for putting those there. All right, so here we have the two liter EcoBoost engine. This is a basically a four cylinder turbo. This has got 250 horsepower, 270 pound feet of torque. Obviously, this is driving the front wheels. Um, all wheel drive is available on this model, so the intelligent all wheel drive is available. Now, the, only, uh, the other engine option is a 2.2 liter inline four turbo, which is basically comes from the Mustang that has 295 horsepower and 310 pound feet of torque, but really not much difference in, in performance. You know, I have a little bit extra torque on the other engine, but not really much at all. Obviously, this is available with the all wheel drive or front wheel drive, but the 2.3 liter is only available in all wheel drive so so basically you have the eight speed automatic transmission unlike my six speed in my ford escape which doesn't really uh, have the best you know driving abilities this is a much much better transmission that they have put in this but all right guys there we go guys pretty reliable engine good torque pretty good decent and fuel economy and uh, there we go guys your engine for this lincoln corsair all right let's go ahead and, and take a look at that unique interior that this lincoln corsair has now here we go guys this is what they call the beyond blue leather interior which is kind of like a turquoise type of leather which is really cool it's got some white stitching you can see and it's also combined with the black here in the back it's got a bit of a black trim here as you can see kind of like a black piano trim along with some aluminum go inside here and check out this interior look at the the seats are awesome you can see look at the color i don't know the camera's going to attach a little bit different but this sort of kind of like a turquoise color really really cool what lincoln has done especially with the black really goes well uh really really happy with this i've never seen this before in this color i didn't even knew this kind of existed until i saw it and i had to take a video of it because this is just pretty cool interior now as you can see guys these seats do recline you can see that these are really nice or perforated seats uh, let's go ahead guys and uh, jump inside to see how comfortable so here we are here we're inside of this lincoln corsair because it's kind of the same thing as a ford escape now obviously it is a little tight for me here in the back the seats do recline a little bit they give you a little more space here as you can see so really nice guys obviously this is our the, the, the kind of the double decked seats that lincoln kind of is obvious for now this is not equipped with the 24 way seats these are 10-way power seats on this one then we got some pockets here the same as in my ford escape the same type of netting here in the back we have two ac outlets and we do have also a three prong connection here so no two usb connections here as i can see that's what it is so actually my ford escapes got a three prong connection but no usb connection so i guess ford has done or lincoln has done with a usb connection now instead which is better also here we got the you see the blue with the white stitching really really cool the way that is now this just feel very comfortable guys here there's no seat warmers or anything like that in the back they might offer that with a higher package i might put that in the, in the notes for you guys here in the bottom of the screen or in the description but really cool interior as sure you can see this one is equipped with the panoramic server that's part of the packaging of this lincoln and of course the um the headliner is white which is i don't like the same white as my headliner and this gets really dirty really really easy so there's some white accents as well here in the top as you can see guys here's the interior of this lincoln it's got some white accent in here besides the, the screen there and everything really really cool interior this is why basically the lincoln's interior that they're offering it's now really is really anyway nice. so, so see so here cool. we got basically the center armrest and then here we got some yep up oh, there we go guys we got your cup holders there really really cool so we got basically your thrift on this of course this goes back a little bit more but really loving really loving this interior of this thing sure. you can see guys that blue color is really really cool that white stitching really 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 uh you know shows and it's just the way that i really love this interior it's just really unique that lincoln did something like this so of course guys, here we have all your controls here for your for your basically your power seats they're all here these are 10-way power seats there are optional 
24 way power seats that this does not have so but you also get three, 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 three uh, buttons here for memory for the seats of course you got window controls here your mirror controls and all that stuff really cool a bit of aluminum and of course we got the rebel system here the speaker there really awesome a little bit of storage space this is the same storage space as my wife has in the 2016 escape so that has not really changed at all so coming here guys you can see guys we got those perforated seats which are really nice these are definitely much more comfortable and the quality of the leather feels much better i have cloth seats in my escape completely different but this is really cool we got the lincoln scuffling here as you can see really nice in aluminum and of course that continuation here of the blue we have a little bit of like a white type of uh i don't know visual effect here for the that's kind of integrated into the into here the panel black and the white really cool white that is guys really nice interior uh panels and all that stuff we got controls for your lights here and everything here the rear catch control and of course we got powered adjustable tilt and telescoping steering wheel as this lincoln has so of course the steering wheel is also done in leather and of course we got some chrome trim here as well so let's go ahead guys and uh, jump inside this lincoln. Now, of course as this is completely different than the ford escape interior this is basically the traditional layout and dash design of all the lincolns that the lincoln has in their cars you know the aviator all those bigger suvs and even the, the other ones have the same type of interior this is of course fresh for 2020 and up all those models now really cool but i'll talk to you guys here we have that bluish turquoise interior which is really nice that white stitching of course we get the eight inch screen here we got the rebel speaker up here as you can see guys uh, this has a 14 speaker rebel system controls for your front passenger side seated there as well as you can see guys really cool the way this is love the interior love the way the seats are designed really really nice plenty of visibility of course you got the sunroof it's the same thing here as my ford escape the same color everything this does not change at all of course except this, this is a little, little bit different but controls for your sunroof visor and all that stuff and, and uh, lights, get this lincoln started it's quite impressive break hit the start button which is up here kind of interesting the way that is with a little bit of thing very very nice the way this starts very very quiet and definitely much much more refined than my word escape the way it starts so that from the from the first go, get go that's what the lincoln's kind of give you obviously much more refinement in the whole car in terms of the interior the quality of the materials as you can see the layout of the interior and of course uh you know the way this feels this started very very quietly so this must have a much better i guess engine bushings that they not vibrate as much a little more refinement that it's built into the that, that, that the uh little more refinement that the lincoln engineers built into this corsairs and even though the same chassis oh, as right, the Close the doors, you can see. Guys, look at the look at that panel again here. Really cool. The, the, the different stitching and the blue colors really love it. I really like that. Really, really cool interior. Let's go ahead. So let's go ahead, guys. Let's start on this side over here. Of course, we got your glove box. Really nice, the same size as mine. Of course, you got all the that soft kind of top panel here for the leather. Not leather. It's just a soft touch here for the dash. But everything's really nice here. All the all this is really cool. The only thing I don't like is there's some bit of piano trim here. As you can see, guys, the, the gloss white, black and it really just brings in the dust. But it's not bad at all. Obviously, here we have the AC outlets. Of course, you got the eight-inch screen. We'll come back in a moment. Of course, here we got parking sensors. Your parking. This is a button to help you park and of course we got the cameras as well and if the camera will pop or not there's not popping there we go guys here's the camera the rear camera as you can see which is really nice of course we got the navigation the home screen there the coming down here guys this is basically lincoln's tradition of basically the way you change gears the way you put it in park and drive and all that stuff kind of just press the brake and kind of hold the button like a piano which is really traditional of lincoln here we got the dual sony ac of course it's got digital displacements here as you can see guys we got heated seats as well uh we have no cool seats on this one just heated seats as you can see the heated steering wheel as well uh and of course everything's still controlled here by the lado as you can see guys it's got plenty of speed here for you as you can see everything's well laid out the buttons here for the stereo and all that stuff is really nice and of course we got a lincoln little name here as well here we go guys with up this little door that we open and goes all the way up here we got two usb connections a 12 volt there and there's no way there's nowhere to put your phone here you can put it here but there's no way to charge it too small of a space here but it's really nice you can close that up as you want you can see there so that's really nice we got basically a cup holder here where i got my phone we got basically your drive modes here now obviously we got some few drive modes here normal conserve we do have basically excite which is kind of the sport model now obviously there's not a ton of them it's conserve is kind of more really relaxed normal we have slippery and we have deep conditions as well and i think those are the driving most that we have we have a digital speedometer as you can see guys on this little six six, six inch screen here here guys of course the drive modes there's cup holders and basically your parking brake here as you can see just press that to keep it on park brake on so we just want to put that off little kind of coin cubicle there if we open this up we have more cubicles here i don't see any other type of connections at all or anything like that we got a light but a little bit more storage room there as you can see guys we got the blue leather there, as you can see 
too the white stitching there on the center armrest which is really nice of course we got all the stuff here for your uh, cruise control and of course here we got all the controls here for the center screen here as you can see guys so that's a little bit of information not a ton but you can see we got uh mileage and all that kind of stuff you see have radio options serious options all that kind of stuff no phone connected and all that kind of stuff we use hit the bond button as well it's going to show you us a little bit more stuff as you can see guys fuel economy tire pressures and all goody stuff of information calm screen as you can see guys so pretty interesting the way this is so uh as you can see guys this is just uh you can also get an optional 12.3 inch digital the cluster here this one is not option up with it that's the bigger the ten thousand package the thousand dollar package that gives you all the little more upscale stuff including that navigation system or well, excuse me that digital screen this one doesn't have it this has got analog tack and an analog speedometer along with all that everything else is electronic but here we got a couple of paddles here for that windshield wipers and lights and all that kind of stuff here so really cool guys obviously i like here now coming back here to the center screen the eight inch screen this is still a sync three system obviously you got audio this has got as i mentioned the 14 speaker rebel system which sounds really cool let's go ahead and put that up here and it's got a really nice sound system too yeah it's got a really nice sound system for sure really the bass really hits nice so as you can see guys you got phone you got navigation as well on this girl and as you can see all that's really pretty quick sometimes it does this sync system three does on a wild kind of freeze a little bit but overall it definitely kind of goes in it's not the super quick as any ones but still pretty manageable and not bad at all but there we go guys this is the way the lincoln is obviously quite different than the ford escape but the interior layer i really love it really really much much better interior obviously you're paying for it. this thing start around thirty seven thousand dollars and go up to the mid 40s probably to the lower 50s with that high-end trim if you get the reserve model so this is not cheap as well so you're looking at another maybe ten to fifteen thousand dollars more than a ford escape but obviously you get that more in refinement all right How let's just go ahead guys we're on excited let's go ahead and take this girl out for a spin now really interesting because let's put the windows up i want to see how quiet this is how much more refined this is i only drove it here about half a mile from the leadership to this parking lot so let's check it out and see how nice or this drive now oh, from the start you can tell this is a much smoother car it's much much quieter the engine you can barely hear it in the ford in the escape obviously ours is 2016 so it's not the new third generation escape but this is a still a pretty quiet vehicle to be honest and that's why you pay for lincoln you get lincoln for refinement quietness and a much more better ride and of course much more better quality materials now let's go out this way guys and check out how this thing turns a little bit here now the engine responds quickly yeah so let's take it on on this turn here yeah it pushes you can tell this is nose heavy but it that doesn't turn too bad the throttle response is really nice it feels pretty solid the steering it's got a really nice feedback to it not a ton of feedback but it's pretty direct and it goes where you point it to i really like this thing wow this is nice i love this because i just got off of, of chevy 2500 hd so it's just getting into this is like getting into a gold car from that feeling of that heavy duty truck but now, as you can see guys we aren't excited so the transmission is going to respond a little quicker so then i have a little more hold to the, to, to, to the gears but i uh, really nice the way this lincoln feels the brakes brakes have a really nice linear feeling to them uh, it's always a forward i mean i've always very impressed with the with my escapes uh, brakes the pads from factory are really nice and progressive have the more power you the, the harder you press the pedal the more power you get on the brake so all right let's go ahead guys and just gonna start this off smoothly here let's give it a little bit of beans here Plenty of power from this two liter engine, as you can see. Really, really nice power. Very smooth transmission, much better than transmission in, in my escape. My, my escape's got the, any escapes below, I think 2020, it's got the six speed automatic transmission, which is not the greatest. This eight speed is a much better transmission, I can tell right away, especially the, the response. Oh yeah, much better. Even though we're on sport, I'm used to my sport setting, but this definitely has got a little more. This is not a bad. It's not slow at all. Obviously, the optional 2.3 liter engine gives you another what, another 25 horsepower. Not a ton, and a lot more. Not a lot more torque, but it does have a little bit of more torque and power, but not that much that you're gonna feel it really on the road. Uh, but this has got plenty of power. It feels really good. Obviously, this is a front-wheel drive model of the Ford. Of the, excuse me, the Lincoln Corsair. As you can see, there we go. Now it's real feels really nice. Very smooth transmission. Yeah, it gets up to speed very easy. Now I'm surprised the suspension does feel about the same. It's not stiff, but you can definitely feel it. It's, it's got you can feel some of the bumps and stuff. I, this has a little 
looks like a little sportier suspension than the other Lincolns, but it still has got good feeling to it. It feels planted. It feels really nice. Very comfortable ride, for sure. Now, the, 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 I'm feeling the engine. Yeah, this is a much quieter car. The ride, there's no wind noise. There's really hardly any wind noise, no road noise, even though we're only doing about 50. But yeah, th this thing definitely feels much more refined, much more of a quality car. Um, I can feel that even through the steering, the steering wheel feel the steering feels a little more muted. I mean, a little more. It's connected, but it doesn't have. It's not. It feels more like heavy and refined. Really interesting the way this feels. Much better than my my Ford Escapes, which is kind of basically the same thing. Uh, this, of course, the, the screen is the same size. I'm sure Lincoln's gonna update that for 2023 if they if they already have. But uh, man, this thing feels nice, and obviously the, the the handling is nice. This thing feels pretty, feels pretty solid. I mean, doesn't there's not a lot of body rolls I can feel. Much better body body control than my Ford Escape. Um, and of course, I love this interior for sure. Wow, very yeah, very impressive, very impressive. Love everything the way it is. Basically the same as it feels like I'm driving my car, but just with much more refinement and a much much better transmission, for sure. Yeah, the steering wheel is definitely much, much better as well. The, the way it feels, the leather is definitely high quality here. I don't think my Escape has got cool leather. It's got that plastic feeling to it, but very nice. Yeah, definitely, you can definitely feel the refinement. Uh, if you're used to driving, for example, the, the same Ford Escape, but even the same year, uh, this thing definitely feels a little bit more refined, definitely much more uh, noise management as you can tell everything's much smoother much more yeah just just a different definitely i'm just shocked i mean the, from the first lincoln i drove i think it was a lincoln uh Cor not the corsair it was some other one i can't remember but it was so differently it was the same version as the edge the, i can't remember it, but it was such a different feeling of driving i mean it was just a way different i mean the for the lincoln engineers now have more ability to tune you know the suspension the the, the dynamics of the car the way this feels much more smoother much more quieter much more refined and that's basically what you're paying for a lincoln and of course these are not tuned for sport but it's just kind of pretty a little bit now say tight suspension but a little bit stiff suspension considering some of the lincolns i have driven but if you step on this one here as you can see guys really nice very smooth yeah the engine feels the rev feels a lot smoother so i'm sure that the engine bushings are in the engine mounts are connected are much more uh have much more refinement or much more you know a vibration tune you know not to have that vibration much more of a refined wow yeah really impressive very impressive pretty quick to this engine yeah this transmission is daying light ahead of the six speed on the regular escapes really like the handling on this thing it feels fun it feels like it's ready to tackle and of course we got 20 inch wheels with 245 millimeter tires which are you know pretty good tires for this love the way these wheels look on this car and of course i really love the interior this blue interior is exactly the way i would expect something like this let me know what you guys think if you guys enjoying this type of content this pov type of reviews uh, and uh, drives let me know guys appreciate you every one of you please subscribe support the channel by subscribing leave me a comment if anybody has owned one of these lincoln corsairs let me know how you feel or if anybody switched from a from an escape to a corsair it's kind of interesting to see i i just driving this it definitely feels like a much more refined car uh you know if i put this back to back yeah the, the escape has got more vibrations more more raw this is definitely a much more smoother refined ride for sure and i love this interior. now as far as fuel economy this is averaging 22.5 the same thing as my escape obviously if you drive a little bit faster it's got really nice torque and power uh it's kind of it's going to be in the lower 20s it's not obviously i think ford says in like 20s yeah it should be around there but uh in a highway it's actually pretty efficient you're looking at about high 20s um but this is with an eight-speed automatic. This is gotta have a little bit better fuel economy. Now, of course, if we came to a stop, we got the automatic hold. You just let off your your brake off the brake. I mean, left the foot off the brake, and this thing actually holds the car uh, really easy. Now, that's really cool. I really love. I prefer this feature than the, for example, the sh the shut off of the engine. I don't like that because obviously you have to keep your foot on the brake. If not, that's gonna turn on the engine. So this is a much better to me a hold. Even though the engine's running, it doesn't you know turn off for fuel economy. I really prefer this feature than the, the stop and start of the engine for sure so you just put on the foot on the gas guys and this automatically takes you off the hold and let's go ahead and just go on this escape on this escape on this for lincoln this lincoln so this guy's pushing it a little bit here a little bit of torque steer there but easily 60 miles an hour easily comes up very refined much more refined to the rivet of the engine very quick i mean it's, it's got some pretty good power 
you don't really need more than this. It's got plenty of power for this size of escape. I wish Ford did like a, I wish Ford did like a support version of this, this, this especially this size like Escape ST, Escape, you know, something like this. I think Ford, I mean, Lincoln would definitely be, if Lincoln invented like a sport division like Lexus does, you know, the Lexus F Sport, something like that, where you can put like a, you know, all-wheel drive, 350 horsepower, all-wheel drive, two suspension, so like a miniature Macan rally car, and this one, they'll be fantastic, and I'm sure they will sell something like that. I will definitely be on the list if you can get something like this with about 350 horsepower, all-wheel drive, you know, with, uh, you know, fantastic all-wheel drive system, just nice support seats, the way these are, just, yeah, they'll be, that'll be a fantastic option that Lincoln can do. Uh, in the future, I'm sure they can't, but now everything's going electric, you know, all this electric stuff, which kind of ruins it, but, but all right, guys, so coming into the conclusion of this Lincoln Corsair 2020, very refined, very surprising how different this feels in my escape obviously it's still kind of the same chassis even though this is based on the third generation not the second generation like in half but still similar to the driving dynamics just much more refined driving experience to be but, um, sure but there we go guys just put it in park I like this i really like this it's pretty cool i like it's not, not i don't mind this at all to be honest the little gear changes here like that many people prefer uh, basically your your gear lever but i really don't mind that at I all so. i forgot to mention uh this they're asking about thirty eight thousand dollars on this uh roberto ford's used inventory lot here guys so but all right guys thanks so much for watching guys let me know what you guys think of this 2020 corsair subscribe hit the like button help me out we're almost closing up to 1000 subscribers guys really appreciate every one of you have a fantastic day and we'll see you on the next video